Yeah, that's a pompano, bro. So we'll throw them in the box. Let me go ahead and try it. Look at that. What's up, everybody? Eddie Scales back again with the Mid Flow Scales. And today, you know where we're at, man. We're back up on the bridge, fishing for snapper, fishing for pompano. I got my buddy Wayman with me. Got my homegirl Desiree, they're visiting from Jacksonville today. So we're gonna try to put them on some fish. Stay tuned for the video. Let's get into it. Gotta pitch it. That's right there, close by the pine line. Just let it sink to the bottom. Uh oh wait, did something hit it? Nah, it's just on the bottom. So uh, we'll see if we can pull up. I'm thinking there's some fat mango snapper down there. So uh, yeah, man, let's see what we can get on today. Oh, yeah, he's on, he's on. Oh, yeah, I got him. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a baby grouper. We're gonna toss him back, lead a fight another day. And matter of fact, grouper season just opened up. So maybe we'll do a grouper fishing video from the skyways. Yeah, that's a pompano, bro. Go ahead and reel him in. You oh, gotta pull him up quick. I don't know what to do. What to do? Bro, just keep reeling. He's hitting. He's... Bro, bro, you got him. Oh, got him. Pull him up. Keep. Don't try to flip him. I'll tell you when. I'll oh, tell you when. Pull up. Just keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling, bro. Keep reeling. Bro, you got a big pompano. Keep reeling. All right, now here, I'll pull it up. Ooh, let's go! Let's go! Yes, sir. Bro, that's a nice size pompano too. Good stuff, bro. That thing is thick. Bro, you got a nice one too. Bro, we. Bro, that was literally. The first cast threw a shrimp out there. He ate that on the live shrimp. How far out? Past the uh Bro, I was literally right here. We was right here. Like he ate that just right in front of us. Let's toss some more shrimp out there. Let's get the pompano. Y'all brought the good luck from Jacksonville, so I'm feeling good. Let's check you out. Bro, this a yeah, this is a 13 to the fort. About a 16 inch all day. Uh, my brother, man, he caught this nice pompano, and uh, it's a solid one too. Man. Yeah, you did that, so he's going in the cooler. We're gonna cook him up later. You got one too. You got one too, man. Hey, yeah, you better get your line down there. They jumping, man. <laughs> That's a nice one. Here. Yeah. That's about a, I'll say it's about a 11. 11 and a half. She caught that. Yeah. Good job, baby. Thank you, thank you. See, that is about, yeah, 10 is legal. And so he is about a 10 and a half inch snapper, which, you know, we'll keep the 10 halves. We usually let the 10s go, but we'll keep the 10 halves today. So we'll throw them in the box uh, for dinner. So far, we got one snapper, one pompano. Let's try to catch some more fish. I mean, we're catching fish today. Even if it's a pinfish, I'll take it. Good job, baby. Thank you. So we just got down from the bridge. We were looking for a snapper, ended up catching a pompano. I'm not complaining about that. So we're gonna take the fish home, get it cooked. And yeah, man, we'll see you guys at the house. We're gonna have a seafood dinner. Like I said, I got my buddy in town. We got friends in town. So we'll see y'all in the kitchen. What's up, everybody? We made it back to the kitchen. We got our pompano, we got our mangrove snapper, ready to fillet, ready to cook. Now, unfortunately, my buddy had to take off. They had to head back home, but that's okay. We'll do a taste test for them, and we'll let you know how it comes out. Stay tuned for the video. We'll see you guys in a second.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with filleting my pompano. Now I'm by no means a professional at filleting. I just uh, take my time, make sure I just go slow and I just try to make sure my knife is sharp first and foremost. Uh, when you're filleting fish, you wanna make sure your knife is sharp. Uh, I'll say probably that's the most important thing. And then I just, you know, like any other fish, run my blade along that on that back right there. Just like that. I'll come back at the top right here. Just make sure I keep my knife low. And I just run it along that backbone right there. Nothing fancy, you know. Like I said, I'm in no rush. I just wanna make sure I get as much meat as possible cut through that backbone right there. Bam. You got your pompano filet right there. You know, like I said, probably not the best knife job, but it's good enough. I'm gonna try to get as much meat as possible. We'll work the other side and we'll do our mangrove snapper after that. All right, so we just finished filleting the fish and look at that pretty white meat on that pompano right there. Man, that's gonna be good. And of course we got our mangrove snapper filet boneless skinless. So let's start wasting time. Let's hit it off with some seasoning, drop it in the pan and get ready to eat. Your boy getting hungry over here. So let's get to it. All right, so this is what we're using to season our fish today. I'm not complicated y'all, I just like a little Old Bay on my fish, a little bit of pepper, just sprinkle some of that on there. That's all I need. You know, do it however you wanna do it, but this is how we gonna do it today. This ain't no cooking video, I'm just showing y'all how I get down. So I'm gonna hit it off with some Old Bay. Just like that. And matter of fact, gotta make sure I hit this on both sides. You know, I like flavor on both sides, man. I like a little bit of flavor in every bite, you know what I mean? So do that. Put a little pepper. Pepper on the snapper too. You know, I don't want to over season the fish. That way you can still taste the flavor. But yeah, man, that Old Bay really made that flavor jump. So I'm going to drop it in the pan, get it cooked. Going to uh, do a taste test, so stick with me. All right, time to drop those all white meat fillets in the pan. Going to cook the pompano first. I'm going to lay them down like that and I'm gonna keep the skin on while it cooks on this side and then I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and as the fillets get a little bit hotter I'm gonna peel the skin off so uh, let's let that simmer down for a second and we'll come back all right guys this is how our pompano is looking so far it's almost looking like it's ready to eat right now and I think I'm gonna keep the skin on I'm just gonna plate it. 
And we're gonna drop the mango snapper in the pan next. And I'll go ahead and just take a couple bites, see how it's tasting. All right, we got the snapper done, we got the pompano done. And it's my favorite part of the video. Go ahead and try this fish. Go ahead and uh, try this pompano. Tell y'all, man, this pompano is good now. They ain't gonna catch themselves. Y'all need to get out there and catch them. I'm trying to tell you. That pompano is good, but I think it's missing something. Got my uh, secret seafood sauce. We're gonna slap some of that on there. We're running kind of low. We gotta make some more. There we go. Now, let me go ahead and try it. Look at that. Don't be jealous, man. Don't be jealous. I'm telling you, y'all can get out there, catch all some pompano too. Fresh, never frozen, baby. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. We had a great time with our friends. That's what it's all about, man. Spending time with your friends, your family, doing stuff you love. For me, it just so happens to be fishing. So again, I'm Meddy Scales, this is Midflow Scales. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I got some business to take care of right here, and I'll see you on the next one.